What's up guys? Uh, welcome back. I'm gonna be doing things a little bit different from now on. Um, as you can see, it's been, uh, I've had some time off here. I'm starting a new series, it's gonna be a collaboration series. I've done a lot with Okanagan Spirits, as you can see from my feed. I really like these guys, like they're very genuinely nice people. Okanagan Spirits, Laird of Fintry, single malt, rum barrel finished whiskey. Third release, they were kind enough to send it to me with some other goodies. So thanks a lot again, guys, I appreciate it. Oh man, for this one we're gonna have to wait for Sean Sewell to give us a proper review on it. So I'm gonna do my best on this, you know. Reviews aren't my, not my forte. I'm not really good with the words, but we'll figure it out. Bit of stone fruits in there. We're definitely getting some like, the malt is obviously there. We're getting some grassy notes from the, from the rum barrels that comes through very, very, very strongly, I'd say. Rum barrel, four and a half to five years of its life spent in medium char custom virgin american oak american white oak barrels and then it spends one year in a rum barrel the rum barrels that they're using are from jm rum which is a rum agricole so it's the traditional way that rum is made it's made from uh, sugarcane juices so they crush the sugar cane and get the juices out of there and then they ferment that tyler dick from okanagan spirits went oh, went down there and that's how he found this rum distillery he was on vacation there. He found he went for a tour and he said he loved it. If I remember correctly, uh, he loved it how craft it was, that they do everything the traditional way. Um, they care about the process. They care about the final result. And he felt like that uh, resembled their process at Okanagan Spirits. So from then, that was when he was like, I want to get some of these barrels. It would be really cool uh, to start aging their own single malt in those barrels, see what it comes out of. Um, Took some time, it did take some time, but he managed to get a few of their barrels. Aged them for a year, three years ago released that release and has been doing it ever since. Uh, before I go today, I just wanna to say thank you to guys over at Okanagan Spirits. Thank you for sending this to me. I am going to enjoy the rest of my whiskey and I'll get back to it, all right? Cheers.